I'm Fred Clement, and I'm a sixth grade uh, math teacher here at Greendale Middle School. I'm a teacher because I like to help people. And I need to be in a situation where I can help people with whatever it is they need help with. In this case, it's math, but it's not just math. It's how to, you name it, when you're teaching kids. There's a lot of how to that they need help with, and being able to provide a framework for them to succeed is real important. So. What kind of what guides how I approach my teaching goes back, I think, to myself as a kid who was really not engaged in learning pretty much ever. I didn't enjoy school. I didn't want to be in school. Unless I could do something where I could try to be funny or I could try to perform, I really had no interest in being there and I didn't want to learn. And I, and I didn't learn as much because I was really not engaged. So I kind of teach thinking of myself in my classroom and um, okay, what would I do with this kid who really is uninterested, not engaged, and just wants to, and just doing a hard time, just wants to punch the time clock and get out the door, and I and that I use as my motivation for okay, well, how can I teach this lesson or how can I present this information in a way that might engage that kid, me? I think I think productive struggle is really important, and I think that if you can present a lesson or a concept to the kids and they're struggling and they kind of don't like that, that's a really good thing. And as you work through that and they get it and they start to understand it and they have some success, that is, I think, perfect because so many people want to give up so quickly when they encounter um, difficulties. And that's a big thing for certain with kids this age. One of, the, one of the things I've done to try to um, help with that is introduce like creative problem solving every Thursday. And the whole idea is it's a struggle and it's supposed to be too hard. And the, and I'll, and the kids are like, this is hard. I'm like, good, it's supposed to be. That's good for your brain. That's a workout for your brain. If you go to the gym and you're lifting really light weights all the time, you're not gonna get stronger. You need some struggle. Struggle is good and you gotta push through it and grow. And so when we, when we have struggle and we push through it and we now understand it and you want a high five or you want a fist bump because you figured something out that you didn't know before and you did it. I gave you a framework, I gave you some, some challenge and some support, but you figured it out and you feel good about yourself now. And now you want to celebrate with a high five. That's, that's like a perfect interaction. Think about all the things that kids remember that are important and impactful for them are not always the things that I spent a ton of time planning or that I thought were amazing lessons. It's all these little things, and sometimes it's not even how I taught a lesson. An interaction that I had with them, or, you know, just, it could be something very subtle. So I think just to, um, you, when I hear those things, when kids tell me that, kind of, it, it kind of frames it in a way for me that's like, well, every one of these interactions is important. I'm Fred Clement, and this is why I teach.